I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert units. We will concentrate on kilometer to meter, kilogram to gram and kiloliters to liters. So these are the units which we will work on. So first one is kilometer to meter. So we normally write this as 1 kilometer is equals to how many meters. Well, remember one thing that 1 kilo means 1000. So, kilo itself means 1000. This means 1000. So, the number 1000 and kilo are kind of same things. So, when I say 1 kilo meter, I say 1000 meter. Does it make sense to you? Kilo means 1000. So, I wrote 1000 meter. So, that is how you could easily remember, right? Now, we have 1 kilogram 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter so that is the way you could easily convert kilometers to meters kilograms to grams kiloliters to liters so let's take an example here so i'll write on some numbers here let's say we have 2.5 kilometers you need to write that into meters. Then we'll have uh, 12 kilograms. We have to write this in grams, okay? And then we have, let us say 1.2 kiloliters. Write this as liters. So how will you do it? Well, to convert from this to that, kilo means thousand, we should be multiplying by thousand. So in this case, you need to just multiply by 1000 to get your answer. So 2.5 multiplying by 1000, you can use calculator. Let's do it. 2.5 times 1000, right? So this is one way of doing it. 2500. 2500. That number is 1000, right? 2500. Do you see that? 12 kilograms to grams, 12,000. So we could get 12. 1, 2, 3. Do you see that? 12,000. Now, multiplication of 1,000 is simple. Move the decimal three places, right? So, that is to say, if I move, let's write down here, uh, let's think like this as we have zeros here after this, okay? Let's have some zeros here. So, so that is same as 1.2. Multiplying by 1,000 means move this three places. 1, 2, and 3. So then it comes to 1, 2. So, so 1 place, then 0, 2 place, another 0, 3 places. Correct? So it becomes 1200 liters. Sometimes you can also write with decimal 0. That gives you the answer in liters. Do you see that? That is how you could do it. Now let me take some fractions. I could have 1 fourth of a kilometer. You have to write this as meters and uh, let's do this one first okay you can pause the video and solve this now one fourth kilometers means one fourth of thousand right so multiply by thousand now that gives you how much thousand divided by four half is 500 and half of 500 is 250 so it gives you 250 meters so you could do fractions also just as i have shown you in this particular example. I hope you get the idea, right? So here are a few practice questions for you, right? So let's say we have 25.23 kilometers equals to how many meters, right? And then we have 0 0.02 kilograms equals to how many grams? We have 1.005 kiloliters. You have to write how many? liters let's do some more right we have 125 kilograms right which will be how many grams 3 over 4 kilometers equals to how many meters and let us say half liter let me write kiloliter this time is how many liters so that is for you to practice you can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my solutions. Here are the solutions. You have to only multiply by 1000, right? So you have to do times 1000 to get your answers. So the first one, 
one, two, three places means you need to introduce one more zero. So that should be 25 to 30. Is it okay? Now here, you think about a zero here, move it one, two, three, you get 20 grams. In this case, 1005. Here, 125,000. 3 by 4th, right? 3 by 4th of, of, a, of a thousand. We know it is 250. So you can multiply by 3, divide by, let's use calculator. So we'll do 3 times 1000 divided by 4, right? So 750. You can use calculator. So what we did was 3, oh, I mean, okay, we did, let me rewrite, right? So 3, okay, let's rewrite. 3 over 4 times 1000. So when you use calculator, you get 750. Correct? That is how you could do it. Or you could simplify. That goes 250 times. And 3 times 250 is 750. You could do like that. Okay. Half of 1000. This is half of... You could do 1000, right? Half of 1000 is 500. So you get 500 liters. That one is meters. Is that okay? So that is how you could convert these units from kilo thing to the normal thing right okay i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps it's just a multiplication by 1000 you can share and subscribe your views feel free to write your comments thank you and all the best